the wife that I chose is better than the man that I am. I married a woman two sizes too big. I have to grow into Aventer. She's a coat. I still can't fit her. She's bigger than me. And she's had to cover me while I grow up. I got to grow and, into her. But she's a covering. She's a covering, I not think. a lid. Ooh, because good. if a man marries a lid, yeah. she'll stop your dream. But if you marry a covering, she'll push you to your destiny. Now, I'm about to shout and tear this whole let thing me, up. <laughs> I'm just telling I you. I the table all the way out of this studio. Let me tell you something. My, my wife has endured more pain birthing me than both of our children. Well, just like the Bible said, it's going down. Um, we are watching the roles of men and women be constantly uh, attacked. God's roles for the man as the leader and head of his home and the woman as the um, help meet. These things are being just trampled over by so many preachers today. And it's, it's happening because these preachers know how to make money. Uh, right now, women make up uh, a greater part of the workforce than men in our nation. And the Bible also says that women are the weaker vessels, so they're easily influenced by the things a lot of times that men are saying. So we got these preachers. I just saw this video with uh, John Gray in it, and he's talking about how his wife is his covering and how she's you know, basically his protection. She covers him. She, she has birthed him. <laughs> and I mean, this is role reversal at its finest, y'all. This is so demonic. Uh, but, you know, this is the brainchild of T.D. Jakes, who started the whole empowering the woman movement when he came out with God's leading ladies, which leading ladies is not biblical because the man is the leader. Not to say that women can't, you know, work or do other things, but at the end of the day, God's way is God's way. It doesn't change for society. He doesn't change. He said it's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Why is that? Because his way works. His way works. If you want to know what's wrong with our children today, it's because they don't feel love because by the time they are able to drink milk, they are dumped off into the hands of someone else while the mom goes out and, and works and loses, you know, that bond, that oxytocin bond that, that comes and so the children are actually bonded with the world in those cases. And when they're bonded with the world, they grow up, they want the approval <clears throat> and the validation of the world. So we got a problem here. And this is T.D. Jakes, you know, coming out with this stuff, uh, partnering with Oprah, who is all about woman empowerment um, and giving birth to people like that. And then Joel Osteen, of course, his wife. I mean, when he's with her, uh, she corrects him. She, you know, pretty much uh, acts like she birthed him. <laughs> and this is the ministry that John Gray came out of. Now, remember, John Gray was on the show, The Preachers, where he let RuPaul uh, do a prayer. They all bowed their heads and RuPaul led the prayer. So that tells you right there the testicular fortitude that this brother has. I mean, you let a drag queen lead you in prayer. So this is showing you that, man, this man just wants attention and he's drawing single and married women to him for women empowerment because this is going to get him on the platform. This is how he's going to make some money. The Bible even says that in the last days, this would be prevalent. It says in uh, 2 Timothy 3 and uh, 6, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive who? Silly women laden with sins, which means that they're, they're regretful for their sins or their shame or what they've been through, what they've done. It says, and they are led away with divers lust, meaning that men are saying things that lead them away from truth and sound doctrine. In my video, Single, Saved, and Content, I dealt with this issue and I dealt with how women are being led astray by these false preachers and false prophets and different ones who seek to, um, uh, you know, to use their platform as an opportunity to coerce women and to convince them that they are the leader and that they should be out front and that the man should submit to them. Uh, this is uh, not God's order. This is not what God ordained. I mean, in this video with John Gray, he kept saying how she was his covering and she covers him. But let's go to 1 Corinthians 11 and 4 before I bring this to a close, because what he was saying went straight up against what the Bible says. Every man pr praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth 
his head. So that means that a man is not supposed to be covered by another man, and he's definitely not supposed to be covered by a woman. She's not his protector, his provider, his priest. She is not the covering. The man is. 11 and 5 says, but every woman that prayeth or prophesied with her head uncovered dishonoreth her head, for that is even all one as if she were shaven. It's just plain and simple here. For if a woman be not covered, let her also be shorn. And then if we go down uh, to 11 and 7, it says, For a man indeed ought not to cover his head, for as much he is the image and glory of God. But the woman is the glory of the man. This is why the man is the covering of the woman. For the man is not of the woman, according to the Bible, but the woman of the man, meaning she came from man. So she can't be the covering of a man. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. For this cause ought the woman to have power on her head because of the angel. So the man is the protector. Then he said some foolishness about a woman being a cover. She's a cover, not a lid. Because if she's a lid, you can't remember. Man, a lid is a cover. Dude, if I'm going to cover my cookie jar, I'm going to put a lid on it. That is some foolishness, y'all. Don't believe what they are saying. They're lying to you for money and fame. It's not in the Bible. Please get informed. Get our information so you don't go out there and change your future over what these false teachers are saying. Mm -hmm.